introduce yourself, please. Hi, my name is Julie O'Sullivan, and I am an acrylic artist. And I like to stick purely to abstract, but occasionally I stray off and um, do some fun collage pieces like this one. Uh, this one is just fun. I was tired of um, working in abstract, so I took a break. I went on um, the internet and found some great inspiring butterflies and some animals. This is uh, my Confused Animal series. <laughs> and I tried to find as many confused animals as I could. And I, what I like about this animal is that um, it doesn't want to be touched, so it's called No Touch Me. Um, and of course with a flower. It was fun. I actually um, made a series of cat collages to um, donate them to uh, Forgotten Angels Cat Sanctuary for their fundraiser. And um, hopefully it'll raise a lot of money. I got my cats through them, so uh, hopefully they can find some cats in new homes. But this is primarily what I do, um, my sea creatures. And I have a lot of pieces in this series. Um, it's all acrylic. And um, this piece, uh, I took a lot of inspiration from Navajo Indian art. And um, yet I still kept it as, as sea creatures. The faces are hidden within. This one is pretty obvious. But um, the markings were definitely influenced by uh, Navajo art. And this is, <laughs> it took me a long time to like this painting, but um, it is a microscopic view of the germs on your hands and what they might look like. And they have faces, and they have feelings, and they have colors, and they're pretty happy to be germs. Is that just so, a happy coincidence that they, they're similar? Or? It's part of, it's all part of uh, the Sea Creatures series. Um, I just kind of took Sea Creatures, which is where I started, and ran with it. And so it eventually went into germs, <laughs> and it went into, um, you know, Navajo Sea Creatures. I hope to continue this series some more. I've been asked to um, do more of these collage pieces, and so I've been printing out lots of little collage animals <laughs> to stick on there. No, uh, I know that. Yes. You know, generally speaking, your uh, your artwork has always been about abstractions, and and previously it was kind of uh, celestial related. I had a celestial series. I also had um, a very architectural series where I um, incorporated a lot of buildings from places I traveled, like Cologne, Germany. And um, I would start with an uh, architectural base, and then I would put celestial creatures in the sky, you know, something similar to this, but much more abstract. And I work in the abstract. I cannot, for the life of me, do realism. And Is there a reason for that? I am a Just, feeling person. Okay. I, can, I am in touch with how something feels and... Um, what I think it looks like and what I think it should be, what I get from it, it's light, it's color, it's sound, it's smell. Um, just thinking about it. I first, my first series I did was called Sapphire Whiskers and that was uh, the magnification of aluminum at 60,000, magnified 60,000 times. Magnification, yes. Yeah, uh, so in doing that, I was really able to start my abstract series and from there, there was no looking back. I just, that was for me. So it's interesting that, uh, you know, there's two ways to look at the world, two different perspectives. Mm -hmm. One is kind of this overall broader, you get into, make things larger and larger and larger, and then you can also go the other way, go smaller and smaller and smaller. There's hidden mysterious worlds in, in both yeah. perspectives. The minor particles of being. Yeah. And um, that's what I'm interested in at the moment. I would like to, you know, step out of my box and go bigger and think of what one of these guys would look like magnified. You know, what does a huge sea creature look like? And does it have the same amount of detail? Does it have the same feeling? Does it have the same facial expressions? You know, how am I going to take that? And that's my next step is to um, turn it around, okay. take it the other way. We'll see what happens with the next step then. We'll see. Thank you so much, Casey. Thank you.